Hey guys, today's video is going to be a little different. Um, I've never done this before, but in this bag right here, I have a whole bunch of um, my empties from freebies that I've gotten, and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit what I thought about them. I'm going to go ahead and get started because there's a bunch of them. So, alright, first thing is this whole blend's Boat Delicacy. Um... I don't know. It's okay. The smell's okay. The shampoo and conditioner is okay. Nothing really special about it to me. Um, this is Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Sheet Mask. I really liked it. It really sticks to your face. Um, it really feels cooling, which is nice in the summer. And it helps moisturize it, which I really like. Okay. This was not a freebie, but I thought I'd tell you guys about this. It's St. Ives um, Fresh Hydration Lotion, and it's in a spray form. Um, although this is nice for like when you get out of the shower because you can just spray it on, you still have to rub it in. Um, it's a thinner consistency, so not as moisturizing to me. But it's kind of cool, like I said, for when you get out of the shower. Um, this. I wanted to tell you guys about this. This is a dollar at the Dollar General. It's called Agree. It's like a cheaper shampoo. So it's like to me on the same level as like Suave. But oh my god this smells so good. And your hair it like stays. The smell is like permeates in your hair. So you guys should try this out. Just maybe they have conditioner as well. But maybe you could put like a leave-in conditioner to add moisture in your hair. Okay, I tried the Garnier Fertis Smoothing uh, Treatment One Hair One Minute Hair Mask. Um, it's okay. This one it smells okay and it it does moisturize your hair a little better than conditioner, but nothing spectacular. Okay, these soft soap luminous oils. Oh my God, I love these. Um, this one's avocado oil and iris, which it's not my favorite, my favorite scent, but um, the, the formula of these are amazing. It has a hint of oil in it, so it moisturizes your skin, and the smell stays on your skin longer. Um, so I really, really, really love these. This is wasn't a freebie either. I got this from the Dollar Tree, and it's called Pink Chill. Looks like this. Um, I got this a long time ago. And actually, you know, for a dollar perfume, these actually work pretty good. I mean, it has enough oil where it stays on your skin. Not like an expensive perfume, but for a dollar, it's worth it. It smells really nice. Okay, Dermy Anti-Wrinkle Scrub. I don't know. That's alright. Nothing special to me. You can get like um, something cheaper. Okay. Um, this is oh man, who makes this? L'Oreal? Yeah, L'Oreal. Age Perfect Cell Renewal. This is the Rose, I believe. Yes, I love these. They smell good. They're moisturizing. Um, like really silky. Love, love, love. Okay. This box is a mess, but whatever. These are the Kleenex Cotton Soft Pads. Okay, they're really big. They're literally like this big. Um, they're nice for like cleaning your face off, but they do shred easily like when you're doing your nails with them. So I wouldn't recommend them for that, but like to take your makeup off with like makeup remover if you use like the um, mineral, whatever it's called. You know what I'm talking about. If you use that, um, that's what these would be nice for. Okay, this is like Ed Hardy perfume. It's like this. Smells good, really good, but it fades away really quick. But for like air freshener or something like that, these would be good for your car or just a quick scent. Okay, this is my absolutely favorite, favorite, favorite. It's from Estee Lauder. It's called Modern Muse. And 
this is a lotion. Oh my god, this smells so good, but it's so expensive. I got this for free from a lady that we worked for. She got this as a sample, and she gave it to me. Oh my god. Look, guys, it smells so good, and it's gone. I just want to smell it one last time. Mm, there's a little bit still. <laughs> smells so good. Mm. And of course, it lasts forever, and I like the lotion. I actually like scented lotion better than like a perfume. To me, it lasts longer. Um, this is from Joe Malone. This is the Nectarine Blossom and Honey. It was um, free for me. Um, my aunt got it from one of her customers, but I believe this is just a sample, and they're very expensive. But man, this stuff smells so good too. I like this one. It's just very light and fruity, but not overly fruity. It's like creamy smoothie. Smoothie. <laughs> like a smooth citrus flavor, like a creamy. I don't know. I'm not good at describing scents. Okay, this is coconut oil body lotion from Palmer's, and I really did like it. Smells really good, really mo moisturizing. Be nice after the shower, after you come from the beach. When you feel sunburnt, when you feel sunburnt, if you're sunburnt, whatever. Can't talk. I'm kind of rushing through a little bit because I have a lot and it's like so hot here and I have my air off and my fan. So, anyways, um, Tamana Noni Brightening Toner. I don't really remember this, but, it, so it must not be anything like to stick out in my mind but it's just a toner it's probably expensive so I probably wouldn't buy it again cuz I don't like really expensive stuff I don't have enough money maybe if I had you know a lot of money to spend then maybe okay these Ole whips I do like them they smell really nice and they're very moisturizing they're I would buy them and this is the Day cream of that uh, from L'Oreal with the rose scent. I really did like these a lot. Um, this is a new under eye. Okay, so this one, this is the under eye. It says, um, which I thought this was cool because it's under eye, upper eye, and they have different. Uh, things like the under eye it helps to puff things it has caffeine in it and then the upper eye you know it helps lift the eye I don't know if they actually work but I really liked them I thought it was a cool concept um, Derma E purifying two-in-one charcoal mask I really did like this because it's not like the regular charcoal mask where they like stick to your face and you peel them off and you rip your skin off um, this was like, I don't know, just gentle, more, a lot more gentle. And you can scrub it as well, like use it as a, um, what do you call it? What do you call it? Face scrub, Lord. Brain's not working, sorry. Um, this is the Posh, I think it is. Uh, perfectly Posh night and day cream I really did like this it smelled really good like lemon and um yeah I like that and it's natural so okay this is Duft and Doft pink breeze nourishing hand cream it smells really really good uh, moisturizing um it's like on the level of like a suave or uh, like the consistency and stuff and the quality um but the smell, it smells really good. And I believe they sell this at CVS or Walgreens or both. So you can actually find these. And it's such cute packaging. So. Okay. Hold on one second. I'm trying to get it all to one side. It's kind of. Alright. This is Hello uh, Charcoal Toothpaste. Looks like that. Um. I do like it. Um, it has a nice minty flavor. Um, I don't know that it really whines your teeth. I guess I don't use it enough consistently to tell, which I should really do that. Um, 
But the only thing I don't like is that it does get a black film on your tongue. Um, even if you like scrub it. Um, but it's not bad. And I actually heard, I don't know if this is true, but using like an over amount of charcoal and on your teeth is not really good for your gums. That's what I heard. I don't know if that's true, but okay. This Biore deep pore charcoal cleanser. I love this stuff. Um, it doesn't have like a lot of like, you know, scrubbing action, but like it tingles. I don't know if it actually cleans your pores out, but it just feels good on your face. And it smells nice. It's minty. So, I would recommend it. Um, Boreal Hydrogen Genius. It's this little sample. Um, I don't remember it. So, sorry. Must not have been too spectacular. I don't remember it. <laughs> um, this is the... Ooh, it's dirty. Tarte Maracuja Oil. I really did like this. Um, I got this actually a, a, like a year ago from um, Ipsy and I really did like it. It has a nice little dropper to get it up in there and um, actually there's still some in there. I didn't even know that. So it's moisturizing and good for your face. Um, there's more in there. I didn't know that. Um, the only thing is this oil, that's why I was getting rid of it. It goes bad quickly because it smells like rancid almost a little bit. Um, so, it's the only thing. You have to be consistent in using this and I didn't realize that. And so, I have to throw it away unfortunately. But there's not that much left. I, I use most of it. Um, this soap right here. I forgot the name of it. But it was a little bar, a bar soap from um, Perfectly Posh, I believe, and I didn't like it. The texture of it's really strange. It leaves like a film on your skin. It has a smell to it, but not when you put it on your skin. It smells basically like nothing. So I I wouldn't recommend that. Forgot what it's called though. I threw the packaging away so. All right. These are the skin cuticles um, items, and I recently used these. They're okay. This one's a replenishing cleanser. Nothing really spectacular about these, honestly. This is a gentle cleanser cream. This one is a gel, and this one. Oh no. Those were okay though. Like I said, nothing spectacular. Probably overpriced for the quality. Um, anyway, this is another Ole Whip, which I did like those. Really moisturizing and smelled really nice. Okay, these are uh, PCA Skin uh, Sheer Tint Broad Spectrum uh, Water Resistant um, Foundations look like this. I absolutely hated these. They're oily, greasy, stinky. It literally smelled like tar. Yeah, I didn't like this at all. And no. So, these are Ele Elemis um, Pro Collagen um, Marine Cream. I don't know. It was okay. Nothing spectac spectacular to me, honestly. I do like some of their products, but that one was just, it was all right. Um, this is a day lotion from Arbon. I think is how you pronounce it. It's like that. And then this is, um, an eye cream. These are natural products. And, I don't know. They were, they were okay, but I, I like my lotions to smell a little bit, but these smell like organic. Which I guess is better for your face, but I'm just used to different kinds of products. But they were okay. If you like organic, or I don't know if they're organic, but um, natural products, then I would try them. Well, I think that's it. My bag is empty.
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you guys did and um, I'm going to probably save some more and do another empties video. I just thought it was kind of cool to let you guys know what I thought of my samples. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.